So let your head turn and go this way, and your life will be a whole lot easier in this spot. Instead of staying here, you want to turn this and base out. And then slide up and just do a chair sit first. Hang on super duper tight. Slide up and do a chair sit and pull this foot in super duper tight here. All right. Hang on to it. The more bend that I put in my spine, any idea of trying to pull my neck out of here, with my neck especially, is just going to result in like me being really sore, best case scenario, maybe injured. Also, when I do this, I don't have... Stay strong. I don't have the, a way to really be strong there. It's driving the hip and straightening the back is what makes the grip pop. Right? So cut off to this spot here. And then instead of going here and trying to pull your head out, I want you to push your hip and your chest in and just turn your nose up. So, um, John. Difference in being here. Be strong. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Versus this. Yeah. Huge difference. Okay. So let's um, play with our posture inside the headlock. When we're on top, we're not even on the bottom yet of the headlock, guys. Ready? One, two, three. So if you are having trouble breaking it, anything like this as the first movement is is really a non-starter because this just encourages him to tighten down more. Right. The first movement can't be to lean like this to move. Look, see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. If I lean that way and you rip my head to the ground, I'm way behind. So the first movement's got to be back here. Pull my head towards the, you feel the, what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah maybe. Now I can start to turn. And now if I need my hands involved, this one comes around. And I want to place my ulna right up under his jaw, and then I'm going to turn it in, and I can frame here one, or sorry, <laughs> keep the grip, or I can frame on the outside as well. Okay. But none of that's going to be strong. It's going to feel like a push, no matter what you do if your back and your spine aren't in the right spot. So it's here is the first play, here, and the more you turn, the easier this becomes. So look how I keep my hand planted here. This hand pops out, and now I'm gonna lean all of my weight this way. If my foot stays planted here, I'm not gonna be able to do it. So I'm gonna move it here, lean. And pop over into the arm off. Yeah, same. All right, ready? One, two, three. Can't pop free. So a lot of you guys, your initial movement was to step off, which can be a good idea, but I don't want to do it from back here. Right, you see how he tries to... <laughs> I could be back up into this spot here. So if you feel like the grip is going to be super tight, you might want to step off early. Right. And now as you come through, look, and just don't do this. Don't go this way at all, keep your grip tight. Don't go this way at all. If he turns to his knees right here, keep going. That could get up really bad. So going forward is a bad choice with your body weight. So when you step off, put your hand here and pull his chin as you continue to belly out right here. And now when he decides to turn to his knees, which he's literally gonna have to do, you're gonna have a lot of good material right there available to you. So, as you step off, instead of setting up an arm lock, take his chin and pull his head this way as you turn the corner. Into some pretty nasty stuff. All right, one, two, three.